back to part four of the EPP part jet build. Um, in this video, we're going to continue where we left off. We're going to start um, test fitting all the electronics into the plane and uh, getting it ready to wire up. So let's get on to the build and see how it goes. Okay, we're back here with the EPP part jet. Um, in the last video, we left off after I cut out and fit, test fit the servos that we're going to fit into the plane. So in this video, we're going to get into starting to um, install all the electronics and uh, test fit all the pieces to make sure of where they're going to fit in the plane and how everything's going to be installed. Uh, for this plane, we're going to be using the Spectrum 6-channel receiver since I have a DX6 6-channel radio. We'll also be using a Turnigy 40-amp brushless ESC speed controller. And for the engine, I'll be using the Grayson Hobbies Super Mega Jet. It's rated at roughly close to 400 watts, I believe when used with the uh, 6.4 prop and 3ES lipo battery. And back to the servos, I'm going to be using the high tech let's see which one of these, these are the HS82MG servos. Okay first let's get started with creating a space for the electronic speed control. Um, as you can see I've got it laid out here on top of the fuselage. I used a sharpie marker to kind of uh, create some guides and now I'm going to use the Weller hot knife tool and I'm going to cut away at the foam so I can embed the ESC basically right on the top of the fuselage. And I think for this one, I'm not going to tape over the speed controller so the wind will basically blow right over it and help dissipate the heat a little bit better. Um, this plane does not have any air ducts like the uh, Foam Fighter 22 or 23 to mount it in. So basically on this one, I decided just to mount it right on top of the fuselage. And I think um, leaving it open will help dissipate the heat a little bit better. Okay, I've got the uh, hot knife pretty hot, now I'm just going to start cutting away the space to embed the ESC in the top of the fuselage. And again, this Weller hot knife tool works really good. Uh, it's about the perfect temperature for cutting into EPP foam and uh, blue core foam or some of your, your other foams. It's not overly hot, so you have you know, fairly nice control. Um, and it cuts nice and easily right through the foam. Okay, I'm pretty much carving out the slot for the electronic speed controller with this Weller hot knife tool. Um, and as you can see, it'll fit nicely right into the slot and it'll fit embedded. Okay, I still got to carve a couple channels back for the wires and I'm going to have to make some extensions for the wires to go back to the motor. But as you can see, it'll, it'll fit nicely and uh, flushly with the top of the plane. And I made a little slot where the, the battery cables will slide underneath the top part of the fuselage and go into the main battery compartment so it'll make it nice and easy to plug in the battery. Okay, I got the uh, speed controller kind of test fit in here. Now I'm moving on. I'm going to create another slot where it's marked up here on the fuselage. I'm going to create another cavity to uh, put in the receiver. And if you can see it here, I've also created a little bit, a little channel that runs down the fuselage towards the back. That's where the wire is going to be run from the speed controller to the motor. So let me get on to carving out the uh, little hole for the receiver and we'll get back to the video. Okay, now that I got all the electronics pretty much test fit into the plane, it's time to move on to the motor and make a motor mount. For this plane, I'm just going to make a a simple homemade motor mount out of basswood. Okay, the first step to making the basswood motor mount, you need to cut out two inch and a half by inch and a half squares. And we're gonna use those to create um, kind of a homemade plywood back plate. Um, you take the two pieces of wood, make sure the grains are in opposing direction, one running this way and one running that way. It'll make it a little stronger. Then we're just gonna glue it together like that. Okay, now I got the two wood pieces glued together. I drew some quick guidelines on the back of the motor mount so I can use it to place properly place the uh, holes I'm going to drill in here. Okay, I got the motor mount placed on the back of the wood motor plate that I'm going to use. Now I'm just going to use a sharpie to mark where the holes are that I want to drill. Then I'm going to drill the holes out and we're going to place some nut certs in there um, to basically use to bolt the motor to the back of the plate when it's mounted to the plane. Okay, I drilled all the holes into the back plate of the motor mount and now I'm inserting these little nut certs into the wood and I'm actually adding a little bit of CA glue around the edges of it to help it uh, stay glued in there. So that'll be pretty much the 
base plate for the motor mount. Okay, I pretty much got the motor mount finished. Um, as you can see, I added some extra side plates and a back plate on the motor mount. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the hot knife tool and I'm gonna carve some slots basically to mimic this H pattern on the back of the motor mount. And it's just gonna slide right into the back of the plane and I'll epoxy it into the back of the plane to hold the motor on. Okay, I pretty much finished up carving the holes with the hot knife in the back of the plane. And now the motor mount will just basically fit in to the slots I've created and we'll epoxy it into the plane to make it a nice, solid, secure motor mount. Okay, we pretty much have all the electronics kind of test fit and placed on the plane. Um, once the plane is ready, the fuselage will be taped up, so most of this will be hidden. Um, the final things we need to do on the electronic side is to create some extensions for the motor. Um, as you can see, the motor is already mounted on the back to the motor mount we just placed, and everything else is uh, starting to fall together. So all we need to do is create the canopy, the tail fins, and tape up the plane. And I think we'll be getting close to doing the maiden flight. So hopefully in the next video we'll get on to that. Okay, well that pretty much concludes part four of the EPP Park Jet build. Um, we're getting into the final stages of building the plane. In the next video we're going to finish up wiring the electronics and then move on to taping. And then hopefully if we get that all finished we'll get into also doing the uh, maiden flights of this plane. So thanks again for joining us for this video. Uh, if you like these videos please subscribe to the channel. And also if you would like please check out our blog. We, um, are consistently posting new information on there and hopefully as time goes it'll be a good uh, place to go for uh, information on RC airplanes. So thanks again and uh, see you next week for the next video.